see here is actually lime. Uh, this time of year, we're actually getting a deep summer. It's very, very hot. Our grass is still growing, but we're having some weeds come in in our pastures. Also, uh, two things we really try to do this time of year is try to balance out our pastures, which lime helps. This is a natural lime. It's actually made up of basically calcium and magnesium, but it's a natural element that we're gonna put back and that helps balance that pH of the ground back out. Also, what we're gonna be doing is putting out tubs. These are lick tubs, they're 24%. They're a natural uh, mineral uh, for the livestock and cows. And they weigh 200 pounds a piece, so they're kind of heavy. So we got them in the back of the truck. We're gonna tape them, we're gonna drop them all. You are, like right now, our fields are growing grass but the grass quality that we're growing is growing height, but it's losing a lot of its natural proteins. It almost reminds you of a standing hay. So we're, they're eating, but they're not, it's not really putting a lot of weight on them. So we want to give them some extra protein because we are fist to get into hay season in the next few months. And then also we'll be able to utilize that protein to help put a little pounds on them, get them real thick and heavy before we actually start going into hay season. And also as this grass gets a little weaker, gets a little more drought version of it. Now we've had a lot of rain, but typically this time of year, you start seeing some, just some, some natural wear on the ground and grass. So it's growing, they're still eating it, but it becomes more of a filler than a true, true thick lush grass that's actually putting some pounds on them. So we start doing protein usually September. This year, we're gonna start a little earlier. I had a guy tell me that he starts in August. And so we're gonna start ours in August and see if that'll help a little bit to kind of get ready for hay season and ryegrass season and just the changing of a palette for the grass. Cause cows, we wanna make sure our cows are in good shape as they head into the hottest part of the year and then also in transitioning into the winter months. enjoying her new high chair we actually found this this is a used high chair because Jennings tore up the other one imagine that little Jen we found this one for $20 and Libby likes to sit in here and eat her baby food she just finished some peaches I made her some peaches and she likes them oh Cece girl getting stuck We are also having a friend time for Aiden. This is some of the boys from our homeschooling group. And they are spending the afternoon with us fishing, swimming, and eating tacos. The update on our outdoor project. You can see we have one wall that is, is completely done. We have the other wall that is and have we have begun we found a used ice machine what a steal used ice machine that we're going to be able to hook up back down here and have access to and our shelving has begun that is major progress being made the outside is done i do have a water hose hook up down here for um, the flowers and stuff that I have down here, it will be so much easier to water. Lots of progress being made. This is what it looks like from the back. Covers up the hideousness of the pool site down here. We will also have a cutout right there. It will run under the cabinet so it will never be seen, but our gas tank will be sitting back here too. So all of this will actually be covered and nobody will actually even know that it is back here. Um, so cut out again in the middle and I want to walk y'all back around and show y'all the front some stuff that's going to be going on in the front in the cabinets this is actually where where the stove is going to be down here will be an insert going out to the gas this is going to be extra counter space underneath so I will have some space over here this will be where my sink is we will finish running the plumbing up through here 
all of this will be um, storage and of course I will have a cabinet on top where I can um, display certain things where there's food drinks cups whatever will all go up there so definitely making definitely making some huge progress out here for example tonight all the boys that I'm feeding I am hauling tables from upstairs down here to place everything to where when we have all of this done and completed I will be able to literally warm my stuff keep it warm with a crock pot or whatever my electrical will be out here and i'll be able to put crock pots cups fix drinks with ice rinse things off So this week is the first week of August and while we're getting some things done inside, we also gotta get some things done outside. Anytime the first of the month comes, we have to spend a little bit more time on our animals being a lot more preventative and proactive. So we start doing, uh, when we move them, whichever move is the first of the month, if it be the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, basically the whole point of that is we're gonna turn around and we're going to go ahead and treat them with uh, apple cider vinegar and their waters and their feed, some probios, and also a basic age so all that stuff kind of happens at once and if we're needing to give them new minerals change their mineral feeders out if we need to give them protein whatever we're giving them is pretty much the first of the month is good for us to do that so today is the first week of august so that's what we're spending some time doing today uh it's fisting a rain so we're, we're having to kind of expedite a little bit quicker than typical but aiden is taking on the chores of the pigs moving them by himself and i'm gonna move the sheep jennings is somewhere and then we're going to tag team the cattle together and this i'll tell you the next two moves for the sheep i told you if you remember i've been saying that we've been putting putting the sheep pretty much just in places that it's hard to cut or hard to bush hog and they eat it so this this move here is pretty much in this kind of wild junk it's not a lot of ruminant just straight grass pasture it's just a piece of this uh kind of civvy pasture that we're trying to clean up so it's got a lot of hedge a lot of little oak leaves. Anytime we have a weak paddock like this, when it's just more, I need grass cleared and shrubbery cleared, we'll only leave them in here probably two days versus typically three or four days. So they only stay in here for two days in two nests. So typically that's basically a, a day move. If you're, you know, averaging these nets to be a day move. Uh, we usually do two days per net. So that's four days in a typical net. And this net will probably only do two just because it's not a lot of grass. It's just we need to clean this area up. And they're the best animals for it. To me, when you add the pigs and sheep, you don't have to deal with the problems that goats sometimes have. So you can get a, a cleaner, easier animal, such as the pig and sheep. Definitely one more that you like to eat because <laughs> I like those a lot more than I like a goat. But it allows us to be able to utilize them almost the same way as grass cutters, hedge clippers, and just getting those areas that uh, my cows typically don't care to like as much. You gonna get it? I get it. I out. See, we poured them a little alfalfa and they ate some of it, but then they left a good pile of it over here as they start working these woods. So we've got the pigs right here at the edge of the, uh, where the new wood line is since we've cleared all this, right next to the pasture. So we want them, we've, wor we've worked this area right here in front. So we're kind of making an L all the way around and see what, look where they're coming to. There's where the sheep are, where we were just talking about cleaning up. The sheep are going through this thicker spot while the pigs go on the outskirts. So they're basically cleaning this forest up to grow better quality underneath. And even if it never grows anything good, the fact is we're feeding our animals, especially our, our lambs, 100% off off that our pigs probably 30 percent 40 percent off that we still give the pigs food of course because we want them to grow so they're getting good quality feed but it's helping our feed bill not be so high and then of course feeding our sheep and it's taking less time to work because if we didn't have them we'd be using a tractor to bush hog under here and that's you know it's just we try to streamline our farm and uh, you know the more we stay on the bush hog the less food we have for the animals and the more time it takes us to get done 
So this is the way we actually can treat them, give them probios. Uh, being that we're not giving them shots or anything like that, we'll just put a feed trough in here and give them a little treat. They never get a treat. And this is a Don Jim feed we get from Tucker Millen. Uh, it's about 16% protein, so not, not over the top, but it's a good little treat for them to have, especially when we're trying to, to really put some probiotics on there. So we got some powder probiotics that we put on there and they're loving every second of it. So probably by year end, we're gonna go and take him for ground beef and our own steak. Um, he weighs probably 650, 700. We'd like to get him to about 750, 800. So when we get into hay season, we're gonna put some extra protein out. The ryegrass will help kind of get some weight on him and we're also we're gonna put some wheat plant. Uh, the wheat will definitely help them too put a little weight on. So I think by the year end, I think we'll be ready to process him. I don't want to just feed him for the winter if he's not going to grow anymore. So he's one less, you know, hay mouth to feed basically to provide hay for. And our ground beef is doing okay right now, but it'd be nice to go ahead and have a little bit more in the freezer. And uh, we talked about trying to can a lot of our ground beef this time to see if it uh, just gives a little bit more preservation that way. I feel like we've been doing crazy uh, pig tours. Actually, it went a lot better than we than we thought. So we have so many pigs just to have babies, and they're all all our black pigs, American guinea hogs. So they all kind of look alike, as in piglets. So we of course got Peppa by herself because her piglets are different. She is a full heritage breed, um, raised on farm, bred on farm hog that we've had for years. So I know her blind. She's she's done phenomenal. So I want to keep her babies for sure separate. She's with George. Now the, the new ones, what we call the new American guinea hog or the smaller American guinea hog, all three of these are fist and a half babies. They're all very, very close. We have two in one pen because it's just a bigger pen and then one by herself over there. Uh, once that one by herself is probably, that one and this one are probably the furthest along. This one may have an extra week or two behind them. So as we see babies fall, everything goes good and they drop good, we're gonna probably take some to the barn keep some in nets. The main thing is we want them to know who their mama is and that way we have no issues whatsoever in trying to find out who they are. Now these are also American guinea hog but these are the long snout. These were not born on farm but these were raised here and they're the breeder. It's going to be this guy right here which we're very pleased with so far too. So we have George and the boys. Now George and an Ernie both of those will be coming to uh their closure on farm very very soon they'll be our our hogs going to process for our next bacon ham pork and sausage and then we'll keep him as a main breeder for the long snouts we'll keep bert which is the one right behind his daddy for the breeder for the short snouts we still got the whole group of hampshire yorkshire breed or berkshire breed that we have got mixed they're growing off good, but we kept them all together because they're not expecting babies probably for another three or four months. So, been in here. It's going to make a little bit uh, more fun on waters and feeding for right now for Aiden. Uh, but it's just we need to uh, separate them so that way we know kind of who's all babies or who's. You helped us, didn't you? Yep. Are you like all these nets? She's trying to convince mm -hmm. us that she wants to keep one of these baby girls. Yes, I really do. Aiden's want to sell them all, huh? Ha, ha, ha.